Hey guys, today I'm going to learn you how to program in STL and in this video I'm only going to show you how we can set up a basic window so I'm just going to open up my editor and we shall see plus plus and go to new project, project call it something and go to application settings and click empty project because we will start from the beginning go to source files and add new item and we just going to call it main pretty standard and the first thing I'm going to do or if you haven't set it up in STL uh, you have to do it and in C++ uh, Visual Studio you go to project and solutions and you need to go to VC++ directories and in include files you need to have your STL include folder and in library files you have need to have your STL lib folder uh, I don't think it's anything more that I can remember ok so do that then every time you start up a new project you need to set up, set up the properties so I'm just going to do that now so on the configuration properties first on the C++ good code generation and click multi-threaded DLL close that on the linker uh, we're going to link two lib files the first one is called stl.lib and the second one is called stl.main.lib and then on the system we're going to pick our subsystem to be windows and then we're going to hit ok ok so now we can start coding um, so let's start off by including the stl header file you always need to do that and then we could fire up our main engine or main program and it's going to look like this in RGC sure you, all, you always do like like this so RGV and uh, you can close it so here you will write your main program and everything so you just going to start off by writing return 0 because you always need to return something like ok so start off by init stl and the argument is going to be stl init video you can have other arguments like stl init anything and it will analyze every stl subsystem but i don't think that's necessary so you can pick video and then we need to set up a screen uh, our window screen so you're going to create a new surface you, wo you are working in surfaces in STL so you need to make surfaces for everything and surface is going to be called screen and I will set them to null value and most of the guys coding do that so uh, so let's set up the screen to be equal to STL set video uh, video mode 640 by 480 and um, 32 uh, STL SV surface. Okay, so what it does, what this does is it's setting up a, a screen that's 640 pixels width and 480 in height and the bits per pixel is 32 and we like initialize it in the windows subsystem sub memory or something um, so now we need to create boolean to check if the game is running or I always do it like this and so you write while you know, running equals to true it should do everything between those two records so here will all the stuff and 
that's going to happen when we run the game is going to be inside of those brackets so we can just write while we can write like running well running it is equal to true or we can just write while running that's the same as equal to true um, so let's make an event to check if the window is open uh, if the user has clicked the X to close the program so first you need to create an event and then you need to check if SDL finds an event if SDL pulls an event from the event um, then if that event uh, type is equal to SDL underscore quit the boolean running should be equal to false and the game loop should exit mm, yeah so while so now when we're going to run our program here it will first see that the boolean running is equal to true and it will run this loop and if we don't click the X it will not uh, close the program so that's good but when we click the X and uh, it will uh, find the event is there quit and then it will continue on in the code to this last lines and there's one single thing we need to do here and that's quit STL and then we just return zero okay so I think we're finished let's try to build it small errors oh sorry okay so it compiled fine so now we got a file with the exa in it so let's go to a project and have a look uh, here's our project and now we got a debug folder and inside here we got our exa but we can't run this exe without uh, we need a DLL file called stl.dll uh, because if we run this uh, it's a uh, uh, it can't find the stl.dll so we need to have this DLL file in the same folder so we just need to go find it and there we go uh, uh, should have it here stl.dll copy it and inside here, the bug folder, and just paste it in there. And now we can run over here, and we can move it around. We can't do much, minimize. Now we can close it. We can also run it here by clicking F5. Start debugging. So you see it works, and um, and you see we got the name STL underscore app here. We can change this easily by writing STL VM set caption and what we wanted to say. I write null here because it takes like two arguments and the second argument is if you have like an icon. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to write simple window and this we need to build it first we need to save it and build it and then debug it okay so you see we su successfully changed the name we can close it and um, yeah so that's basically it